Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've just had a parcel delivered from a very nice young postman. I got a very big smile from him, so maybe he's a diamond painter too. <laughs> Quick and living hope. Uh, I'm not sure where it's come from, so let's have a look. Okay, I may have to just open one to see where it's from. And then I can get all the details and see what's happening. Right, okay, just bear with me a second. Okay, so this is from the lovely people at GBFKE. Um, I have been a customer of theirs for quite a while and they asked me if I would like to try some of their products. Uh, so these have been sent to me free of charge, but I will be reviewing them honestly as always. So let's get into the packet and have a look and see what we've got. So this is how I knew what they were because uh, this is the one that I got the tissue box from. So we'll have a look at that in a second. And then we have a canvas. Oh, that's heavy. And another canvas. And then we have a special project. Oh, I don't like my specials. Okay. Let's see, what I try to do if a company uh, asks me if I would like to review some products, I like to get a little bit of a mixture so we can have a look at each thing. I mean, we have seen a lot of GBFKE and I know that their customer service is brilliant because when I had a problem uh, when I received a parcel that was open, they did replace the items that were missing from that parcel, which was really good of them. Uh, so, yay! Okay, what shall we look at first? What shall we look at first? Let's look at the tissue box because we know what that one is. Okay, so yeah, Nathan at GBFKE asked me if I'd like to try some products. And I said, oh, yes, of course, I love trying products. So I've not had a tissue box before. I thought I'd have a look at this one. Um, it's something that uh, I will uh, probably do for hubby to try and cheer him up a little bit. He goes through an awful lot of tissues. <laughs> I'll put the links to all the products down below. So if you want to check what current prices are, um, and the other ones available in the different series. There are quite a few different uh, designs and patterns and things and pictures on the tissue boxes and some really good ones. But this is one that I thought was quite appropriate for us. Um, and at the moment on the website, as I'm making this video, there is 8% off everything on the website. So I think there's a code at the top of the uh, home page when you go on to gbfke.com and it just says eight off and i think it gives you the product code of eight off but if you double check that and then as you're checking out you will get eight percent off your products which is great we all like to get money off so let's have a look at this little fellow it's come in a nice little box so great if you're wanting to give it as a present to somebody um who diamond paints that wants to have a go themselves but this one is just brilliant it's a little bus it's a little school bus and I just thought, oh, well, I like that. I really like that. <laughs> so you've got your windows and your wheels and you've got your back window. Look, there'll all be the naughty kids hanging out the back window. Yay! <laughs> and then your side windows and the front where you always sit near the driver and you're very correct. <laughs> and then the driver thinking, oh, my goodness, let's get all these kids home quick. <laughs> OK. So yeah, what I've done, I've got this for Hubby. Um, Hubby used to actually live in America um, for quite a while. He's got cousins out there and he did used to look after a couple of his cousin's children and they used to catch a yellow school bus every day. So there you are. I just thought that I'd give him happy memories and something to look at. The corners, I've just come up a little bit on this. I think it's just as it's got a little bit sticky, but it is still plenty sticky there. Um, to get uh, to uh, get all your drills on now then let's just see I think this just pulls open it is plastic so it's quite lightweight okay the bottom just pulls off there so you can put your tissues through the top what I've actually seen other people doing um is using a toilet roll so you could put a toilet roll um sort of you know as you put it lengthways with the tube sort of running that way and just put the top of the toilet roll coming out of there and then just use toilet roll instead of tissues and it will last a little bit longer and it probably works out a lot cheaper in the long run as well so there's an idea so i've got a basic tool kit which is your pen your book and what? your standard tool kit right okay oh these have come in different bags okay and we've got one bag with some red on look are they the They'll be the reversing lights, won't they, I would think. 
Ooh, so where's the uh, numbers on these then? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, this is going to be a bit of fun. Right, so there's the numbers on these bags. Oh, yes, there is. There's letters. There's letters. Phew, I was just thinking, oh, no, how am I going to know where to put what? Yeah, there's actually letters on the bags, look. If you can see, they're all printed in little dots. I think we got a project um, at Christmas. What was it I got? Oh, the, the little uh, notebooks that I got. They had these type of packaging. It's a real thick packaging. You can just see the lettering through. So what I'll have to do is carefully... Um, yeah, there's an H on there. And oh, there's a symbol on that one, look there. And a 12. So yeah, you can see them. But it's like uh, if you get dark colours, you sometimes can't see what the symbols are. I will probably have to kick this one up so I can see what the symbols are underneath. And then your symbols, whatever number. Um, we've got crosses, we've got W's, we've got triangles, squares, F, X. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a few there. I think you can see it's very clear drill field anyway so i'll have to match those up so i will be kitting this one up and i'll have to draw my symbols okay so look at that i love that color that's a really pale blue it's like an eye like greeny blue eye color that one nice uh, silvery that's like a silvery gray that's not a normal silver but these are all very clear these drills that's is that slightly larger no, I think they're all. Don't know this. They do look slightly larger drills. That's the red one. Let me look. Yeah, they are. These. Are... Oh no, they're not. They just looked a bit larger. They're larger. The gold ones are larger. Uh, my eyes are playing me up today. What can I say? <laughs> and that's lovely, clear silver. There's no dust or anything in these bags. These are very, very clear and sparkly. And then just your little standard white drills there. And then your gold. So your bus is going to be gold, yellow gold. Wow. And your black with an escapee in there. Look, he's wanted to join the black party over here. He's obviously decided they're having a lot more fun at this side than that side. And then your lovely little pop of red. And then we have another larger of the like acro green. I presume these are the windows. That's an F. Yeah, these are the window colour look. Okay, and it's a little bit like one of those um, full drill special paintings because we've got 12, which is a larger gem, and then the X's and W's, which are smaller, different size gems. So you're going to have the three different size of the uh, gold drills, all of the yellow and the windows as well. So that's going to be quite fun. I like that idea. Say so these edges just need, as you're doing it, as you're taking your sticky off i think they just need overlapping a little bit more i think as these have been stuck here they've just not quite overlapped on the edges so let's just see if we can just correct one side there that needs sticking down there that's it and then that overlaps there that's better just they've just not done the bed corners properly have they <laughs> They'd never make it in a hospital. Mind you, they don't have sisters going around checking bed corners anymore, do they? Uh, I wonder if they're still doing the army. I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you know. Doing your straight bed corners. Yeah, it's just as it's come up slightly on these edges. So it just needs popping down. And as you get your drills on, it's uh, all going to be fine. So this will be quite nice. They're uh, nice little presents. And I think I'm going to try the toilet roll method. See if it does save me a little bit of money and it may last a little bit longer. So we're not throwing as many cardboard boxes away with for, that have had tissues in them. If I get in those packets, I think now you can get like a, a pack. Well, it's still a plastic bag, isn't it? Just throw it away. If you get a packet, then um, he tends not to get on with those so well. He can't pull them out so well. Whereas if it's a box, he seems to get the little bit of friction as it's coming through. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that. Something a bit different. So I've not done a bus. Well, I've not done a bus. I've not done a tissue box before. So I'm we'll just yeah, that one's just coming up. I think as I say, once it's got the drills on, it'll just hold it down a little bit. Or I might just put some extra strong double-sided tape just down this edge to just hold that down. 
that's fine it's traveled a long way this bus has come all the way from china <laughs> that's brilliant yep really like that let me put the drills back inside okay it's a little bit tricky to pull off at the moment but i think that's because it's new and but then again you don't want it coming off uh, too easily i'll leave the drill uh, the tool out otherwise every time you try and pull a tissue out it, the bottom will come off and that's no good for anybody particularly if it's got a toilet early because it'll just run all the way <laughs> okay oh and it has got some little feet look as well so this isn't going to be lying flat on your table you have just got i think you can just see yeah you can see there just a little bit of a raised up area there so you will uh, have it off your table as it were it won't be lying directly on so you will get a little bit of airflow underneath okay yeah really like that like my little bus so yeah i think the brake lights are going to be red <laughs> oh dear the fun that we've had on school buses goodness me anyway that's a whole other story so now let's have a look at the other special tool kit okay so i do believe we have some bookmarks our basic toolkit pretty standard fine okay and look at these oh my goodness me wow this is a, a posh one and i think you can see there that we have uh, two little wizards as bookmarks and i know quite a few little girls well a few little boys as well but particularly a couple of little girls that will be interested in these so we've got uh, one little wizard and one little wizard's ginger haired friend there. So yeah, with the scarves coming down there and all the different gems. They're like a uh, faux leather um, and yeah, they're quite, quite a nice back. It's like, um, what can I say? It's like a ridge, no, not ridged. It is, it's just like leather. I don't know if you can just catch that. Let me just catch can sort of see the pattern it's a little bit i've got the lights on today so it's a little bit glary but yeah you've got like a leathery effect pattern on the back there and if you do these I'll I'll these because obviously they're going to be going in and out of books or even if they're just used as like a decoration um you know they're going to get quite a lot of handling so you don't want your drills moving about you would need to seal them but then yeah we've got this lovely like i don't know is that like a lotus flower at the top there lovely white gem very pretty with a little bead either side and your toggle so that will just go through the little hole at the top there just got just see it there yeah just in the middle at the top a little hole to put your tassel through very nice and then some lovely sparkly gems let's have a look at these okay Again, I'll put the link down below and if you want to check the website I think they had others to match these as well so you can get quite a nice little set and they do do quite a lot of different other bookmarks as well and uh, it looks like we've got ooh, a lot of special oh and I've just seen a really nice one as well so we've got a lovely bright orangey colour I think that might be for somebody's hair that's lovely got a champagne gold and oh lovely clear silvery sparkle no dust in there is brilliant the deep red and then the cherry red and then another paler red so we've got three different reds on this wow that's gonna be uh, good the shading on this is gonna be nice get a nice depth with those a big a lot of 3310 black which is gonna be your clear blah, your cloaks and possibly the little boy's hair and then some goldy ones there nice oh look at those little teeny tiny teardrops in gold and a nice rosy pink in the round faceted and then a round faceted silver that's like a purpley color lovely and then some little marquees in silver with like your bluey green hue on them 
and then your larger faceted uh, marquees there again with your AB coating, your Aurora Borealis coating and your silver rounds. So there's quite a few different colours there, a few different sparkles. But these will really stand out. I just think they'll jump out your book and say, come on, read me, it's time to read. <laughs> Put those back in there. Okay. All right. Those there, okay. And then let's have a look at my picture, see what we've got. Oh, I don't like receiving parcels, it's like Christmas every day. If there is anything that you particularly want me to show on the channel, if you'd like me to try anything, let me know. Um, or if there's any companies that you've seen that you'd like me to try, let me know those as well. Okay. So, let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I remember this one. Yeah, this one is a round. And we've got our basic toolkit again, pen, butter and wax. And it's a rainbow tree, and I just thought it was stunning. I just, I'm definitely on a colour kick at the moment. Um, I think it's all the Scotty dogs I've done. <laughs> I'm wanting some colour. That's the little thumbnail. Look, you can just zoom in on that. Yeah, that's really pretty. I just thought all the colours of the rainbow going up a tree with all the colours at the bottom there. 22 colours and we have a key code at both sides. Let's have a look. We've got all letters for the uh, symbols there. Yep, they're all capital letters. And I can't see anything off the top that's going to give me any problems. We've got an R and a P, but they are one's purpley and one's blue. So should be okay with that, but that's a nice clear one there we have a nice clear drill field look at that it's always the darker colors i tend to look at um if i'm looking at anything that's uh drill field wise because it's darker colors that i have problems with with my eyes but that looks pretty clear to me Let's give it a bit of a flatten out and it's coming baggies as well Yay! Okay. So these are definite kits, you know, if it comes in your little grip seal bags, you've got your pen, your boat and your wax, you could just literally open this up and start straight away. All you would need is a pair of scissors. Well, you don't even need a pair of scissors to open your bags, do you? You don't need anything else. You've literally got everything you need to just start diamond painting. Great if you're just starting out or if you want to just take a kit away with you on holiday. You've got everything you need here just to sit there and... And yes, I have taken craft things away on holiday with me. Um, when I used to do my 3D decoupage, you would always find me sat on a sofa somewhere uh, with my friends and just chatting or watching telly. And I would be cutting out and just sit and put everything into a little bag. And then when I got home, make them all up. But yeah, I was always doing something. I'm not somebody that can sit and do nothing for very long. I always feel as though I have to be doing something. The only time I stop is when I go to bed and then I watch YouTube. <laughs> See what all my friends have been up to. Okay, oh, let's give it a quick measure. Uh, it says it's 40 by 30, but I would think we're going to be about 35 by 25. Yeah, it's a uh, just smidge under uh, sorry, just a smidge under 25 centimeters, which is nine and three quarter inches. Bye. Just have a look here. Uh, yeah, just a smidge under 35 centimeters, which is 13 and three quarter inches. So, yeah, we're losing roughly five centimeters from around the edge. But as I've always said, it will fit in a lovely frame of a 40 by 30. And this I would put on a black background and then it will really make this middle bit pop. Oh, I just love the colours of that. Let's have a look at these drills. Let's have a look at these colours. So say we're 22 colours. And drill. And all in these bags. Yay! You like it when they're in the bags. Okay, so... We have a nice green colour, look at that nice bright fresh green. 
Ooh, and a lovely dark regal purple. And a nice brown there. Oh, chocolate. I could just eat some chocolate at the moment. <laughs> and a deep grey. And like a stony colour there. Let's put these in order as we go along. Because they're not in order. So we've got one, two, three. Check them off as we go along. Four, five is green. Six is a light, nice deep peachy colour. And seven is your sandy caramac chocolate colour. And eight is like a fawny colour. They look quite nice drills as well. We'll have a look at the darker colours. Uh, I can't see any trash in these bags. They look pretty good. And number nine is like a burgundy colour. Okay, pop those in. I've uh, got them in order. We'll keep them in order if we can. Okay, number 10 is a lovely navy blue colour. And 11 is your rosy, pinky, peachy colour. 12 is another deep brown colour. 13, oh, I like that colour. It's a pinky purple, real, real bright, nice smiley colour. 13. 14 is like your army green. 15 is... That must be 939, I think. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's 939. I was going to say it's, it's a deep blue. A very, very deep blue. Nearly black. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the same. You've got to work on a canvas to know how the drills are. But they're looking pretty good so far. Oh, we've got another escapee there. Look, the fawn wanted to join the orange party. So, and that's a very bright orange. It's almost neon, isn't it? That orange. 16. And 17 is a nice mid-blue colour. Okay, 18 is another purpley colour. Very sort of pinky purple. And 19 is like a rosy pink. Pretty colour. 20 is like your whiny colour. Another sort of pinky browny colour. 21 is a nice like denim blue colour. And 22 is like a, a nearly a sort of heading to an aqua blue colour. Just a little bit deeper than an aqua. Okay, so some lovely colours in that one. Yeah, I think uh, it's got quite a bit of dark colours, 939. And no, actually we don't have 310 in this. So it is mainly 939, the background. We've got all the little planets as well in the background there. So it's only a smallish painting, but I think it's still going to really stand out with the colours that it's got. It's going to look super when it's done. Okay, let's get on to the last one, the big one. And have a look. Let's see what we've got in this one. Oops, so from this side so I don't cut anything, I can see what I'm doing. I hate to cut through the canvas. And I wouldn't put it past me because you know what I'm like. Okay. Put my scissors out the way now. I don't need those anymore. Tool kits. Need a bit more room because this is quite a big in. Oh, wow. And this one is a steam train. Yay. Look at that. Look at that. Let me move tissue box somewhere. I'm running out of space. <laughs> so we've got a oh, bigger piece of wax because it's a bigger canvas. <laughs> and your pen and your boat. Okay. And this one is a... It's a tunnel scene, a village scene with a train going through the middle of it. And my dad used to work on steam trains. So I am going to be doing this one for my dad. Uh, my brother also has a love of steam trains as well, so I may be getting one for uh, my brother as well. Because I just think it's a nice picture and it's a nice size. It's a 50 by 40. I'll give it a measure in a second. But it's one where it's big enough to give you a bit of detail, but it's not too big that you don't want it taking over your whole room. Um, if you're not really into diamond painting pictures on your walls. Because say so these will be gifted. Um, 
right so there's 24 colors in this one wow okay um and let's have a look what it looks like we've got all nice letters there yeah all capital letters and the dmc codes on the canvas as well which is great just give it a bit of a flatten okay. yeah my dad used to be a fireman on steam train just started off as a fireman um and that's the person who sort of like strokes the engines and looks after the thing the driver and things i think as well it's stuck there there's something on my desk there it's a bit ridged but it was on the canvas but it's not it's something stuck underneath my desk the other side and uh, yeah whenever the steam trains around you can just see my dad's face light up you know it's a real love of his sadly oops, this down he did lose his job when diesel trains came in because obviously uh, they didn't need a fireman to be stoking the coal into the uh, boilers um, because they were all running on diesel so he did lose his job then and then he became a fireman instead an actual fireman putting out fires <laughs> and going around in a big fire engine so we've got a lovely little uh, this looks like a Labrador down here chasing after the train I can imagine Millie would definitely do something like that and uh, yeah we've got looks a bit like the Flying Scotsman I don't know whether it is or not but the Flying Scotsman has this type of frontage and this type of green colour on it and looks a little bit like that train. Uh, I know the um, trains in America are a lot bigger and have a lot bigger frontage. This is definitely um, an English train going through an English countryside or a British countryside. So we've got our village up here with a church and a steeple. We've got a little man watching there. It's, um, it's a daft place to be, to be honest. If you stand on a bridge and a train's going over, if it... Uh, blows its whistle and the steam comes out you get absolutely covered in soot <laughs> i speak from experience uh we've got our signals here and a lovely tree with this looks like we've got mushrooms or something growing up the tree or oh, possibly butterflies it could be butterflies maybe mushrooms down here and flowers and then we've got our little cottage up there as well we've got a signpost to tell us which way to go and a little style there for climbing over been over a few of those uh, when we've been out walking particularly with the dogs it's great fun getting the dogs over them they always tend to squash right underneath the bottom rung and then they come out all muddy because everybody walks that way you tend to find that they're a little bit muddy under there but anyway so yeah that's a lovely picture let's give it a quick measure and see what size it is i suspect we'll be losing probably about five centimeters again so it is yep yeah, just well, roughly 45 centimeters which is 17 and a half inches by uh, 20, oh, 35 centimeters which is 13 and four quarter inches let's have a look at the drills oh we've got some escapees oh no some of them have got fed up of being in the bags have decided to escape oh dear let's grab a tray quick just in case, always pays for it, pays to be prepared. I'm back to my girl guide again, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look, let's have a look, see which one's decided to uh, leak a little bit. Just uh, shake those there. It's one of the brown ones, fortunately it is just one colour. So that's not so bad. So let's just pop these into this tray. Accidents happen. It's okay. And as long as we can catch them all, that's fine. Okay, oh, there's another one escaping there. And one there. And one there. Now I'm going to do this. If you remember last time, I tipped uh, the beads that the I tipped the drills that had been stuck in the uh, packet. And I tipped them and they all stuck to the label there. <laughs> to the seal there so i'm not gonna do that again learn from your mistakes please yes that's the best way to be so let's just tip all these into here okay. do normally get uh, extra drills 
Uh, I must admit, I've never run out of drills on a GBFKE kit. Uh, I would never say that it won't happen, but I'm just saying it hasn't happened to me yet. And these drills look quite nice quality. Very shiny and very round. <laughs> There's no little skirts on any of these so far. Right, so we're going to open this carefully and see if... Oh, there it is. Look, there it is. Right, so... And they're still escaping. Look, get in the tree there. Let me just grab a bag. Now we see the kits that come with little grip seal bags. That would be handy right now because I could just open the toolkit and take out a grip seal bag. So possibly when they send you just one or two grip seal bags, it's not a silly idea, it's a good idea. <laughs> okay, let me just grab a little bag. And I've put my scissors away saying I don't need them and actually now I do because I'm going to have to separate this one from his friends because uh, he's got a little tiny hole in him just there and the drills are just escaping out. So I'm not going to tip them out of the bag. I'll keep them in the bag so I know which one they are. But they're still escaping now. Put that one in the tray there. And let's put those all into there. That's fine. And then add those into there. Okay, so that one. All right, there's no DMC codes on the drills yet. You can see now that they're all definitely coming out. Um, but there is the key code, uh, sorry, there is the code number of the canvas, which is B1968. I wonder if that's when the train's from. When did steam trains go out? Went and we got diesel trains, which was very sad because steam trains are really romantic. Uh, you know, you see a steam train in a film and you sat in all those little carriages and sat opposite it's really nice uh, when we go up to scotland we go up to malague uh, from fort william and we go on a steam train there and that's where they filmed the harry potter series uh sorry they filmed the harry potter films and we've actually sat in the carriage that uh, harry potter sat in on his first trip to hogwarts so there you are my claim to fame <laughs> Oh, has that one got a little hole in it as well? Oh, no, no, not quite. Looks like, what, I wonder if I've done it when I... No, because they were in this, weren't they? I was going to say, did I do it when I was opening the packet? But no, there would be a hole in this, wouldn't they, if I'd caught it with my scissors when I was opening my packet. It's just one of those things. Okay, easily rectified. I wasn't a girl guide for nothing. I'm prepared. <laughs> okay, so we've got your off-white, which is your 3865. We've got a very big bag of foam there. A lovely peach. Oh, look at that colour. That's a real bluey green. And a nice sky blue and a darker blue. Okay, and we have, have a look. It's all in three bits now because I've taken one off. Oh, that one's going to come open as well yes they've just nicked it haven't they there i am going to put that one in a bag as well it's better to be safe than sorry okay so let's just take this one off when i kit up i'll have fun putting these all back in order but there's not too many colors there is only the 24 so it's not like i've got uh, hundreds of colors to uh, kit up with. Okay, so we'll pop that one. Oh, don't want to go in. Quite a fat little bag, that one. Pop that one in there. Oops, put my corners up there so that it's not going to seal it. That's it, so that's that one. Okay, were all these okay? These were all okay, weren't they? Yeah, I wonder if it's just as they folded them and put them into the bag. Okay, so, and again, we've got another one of that colour. I think that was the set, yeah. And then we've got two greens. And then, oh, look at that nice 
tinged pea green and a rami green and a winey colour there. They're all okay. And then let's have a look. I think one of these was possibly a bit dodgy. Was it? Was it? Maybe it was. Oh, look at that green. That's a fresh green there. And a dark brown. No, that's okay. And a denim blue. And oh, one of my favourite greens. I love that. So fresh and bright. And a darker brown. And a grey. And another green. A very palish green. And a yellowy green. And a caramac brown. And a grey. And a darker grey. And then, what's that one? Number one is 310 black. Okay, yeah, so we did just end up with the two bags that just had a little bit of a nick. One of them did uh, burst through when we were escaping. But that's okay. We can go with that. So that is those. Put those in there. We've just got one little critter to get back in here. Because he's escaped. There you are. I think we've managed to catch them all. <laughs> Oh, actually the train quite goes in with the theme of this doesn't it a nice sort of steam train okay. right so pop these away quite a nice little uh, shopping spree so we've got uh, a couple of little boy key rings there and we have our beautiful steam train. We've got our little bus, <laughs> which is great. And then we have a tree. And it's not the tree from this film, fortunately. Otherwise, we'd all be in trouble. <laughs> OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, a little bit of fun, a little bit of different bits and pieces we've got here. So if you have a thumbs up, it's always much appreciated. And if you've got any questions or comments, if you leave them in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed watching this and want to come back and see more and see some of these completed, then if you press on that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.